Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a gradient background design inside of Adobe Illustrator using the Blend tool. So we will take a look at how the Blend tool works and how you can create this cool looking gradient backgrounds and you know use it for your Instagram post or your banner design or whatever that you want to use it for. Also if you enjoy this tutorial please do consider subscribing to the channel and with that said let's get straight into Adobe Illustrator and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating a new document. So hit Ctrl N to create a new document. I'm going to keep it 2000 by 2000 and I can call this, um, let's call this gradient design. You can use this kind of uh, resolution for your Instagram post if you want to. Click on create. I'm just going to copy paste the color palette that I will be using for this tutorial. I have mentioned the link in the description if you want to download and use the same exact color palette. Alright, so today we will be taking a deep look at the blend tool. So, you know, the complete design revolves around this single blend tool that we will need for this design. Let's select the ellipse tool and um, create a circle. So hold alt and shift at the same time to create a perfect circle just like that. Then I can switch to gradient and manually change the gradient colors from right over here if I want to. But as I told you, I already have selected my color palette. So I can just select the circle hit I to jump to the pick whip tool and just select the color that I want. And then I can hit G to select the gradient tool that we have right over here. And then, you know, play around with the gradient. I can also, you know, just move this to change the way the gradient looks. I can also rotate it if I want to and also change the length of this so there are a number of different things that you can do if you are not familiar with the gradient tool you can also change the way the gradient looks or rotate it by using this that is the angle control that we have then I'm going to select the shape hit control C to copy it and control B to copy paste it in the back side of the circle so if I hold alt and shift again there we have our second circle I can select the eye that is the pick whip tool and select the gradient that we want then hit G to select the gradient tool and just simply drag it so I can place it however that I want to I can move this just like that to adjust the colors so we have our two shapes ready to roll maybe I'll increase the size a bit more all right so I'm going to select the first shape hold shift and select the second one go into object and select the blend tool and click on blending option so there are three options that we have the first one is the smooth color specified steps specified distance so in this case i'm going to go with specified steps the steps are set to 70 but let's say if i bring down to 5 and just click on ok go into the object blend and make it or you can use the shortcut that is alt Control b you can see it has created a blend using five steps because we set the specified steps to five. So we need to increase that in order to achieve a smoother blend. So I can select this, hit control Z to undo it, go into object blend and blend options. Let's increase the specified steps to 70. Hit OK, go into object blend and make it all. Alt Control B and now you can see we get a very nice and smooth gradient. Now if I double click to select the smaller shape to isolate it and I can rotate it and get a really interesting look as you can see. So I can keep on rotating it and get a really nice swirly look. So it's that easy and that simple. I can also move this and you know you can achieve some very interesting looks for your design. For now, I'm just going to set it into the center. That looks pretty nice. So let's create one more circle. So I can hold shift and alt at the same time. Create another circle. Let's put this at the back. So I can just simply drag it like that. And for the color, I'm going to pick with the 
third gradient that I have right over here. I'm going to change the direction the gradient looks so I can hit G to select the gradient tool and let's create a gradient just like that. Then I can select this, hold shift and select the third shape, go into object, blend and make. And now we have created a blend of three different shapes. And as you can see, it looks super cool. And finally, I will be adding one more shape. So to do that, I can just hit control Z again. Let's copy paste this shape that we just created. So hit control C to copy it and control B to paste it in the background. Let's scale this up. Now for this shape, I'm going to switch to a plain color that is a simple fill and let's select a nice off white, just like so. So now I can select first these two shapes, hit Ctrl, Alt and B, that is a shortcut for the blend. And then I can select this, select the last shape that we created, hit Ctrl, Alt, B again and now it has blended in just smoothly. Let's scale this up. As you can see, it's looking very, very nice. Now, what I can do is let's create a square so I can select the rectangle tool, click and then give the specified pixels. So our artboard is 2000 by 2000. I'm going to give the same pixels for this. Click on create, align it into the center and then select this right click and create a clipping mask. And there we have a nice gradient background. Now you can select your text tool. So I can just hit T to select the text tool. You can type in anything that you want. So let's type in something like smooth gradients, align it into the center for the color. I'll switch this to a plain white and bring down the size a bit. And let's change the font to something like integral. One of my favorite fonts i'm gonna bring down the size a bit more so let's bring that down there we go place it into the center go into the character and let's increase the kerning a bit so i can just set this to to 200 looks good and there we go let's align this really easy and really simple to create some interesting gradient background so i hope this technique helped you in learning something new today if it did make sure to subscribe comment and like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions you can also support me on patreon the link will be in the description below so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out